When we're looking for the area of a triangle, we want to find out how much space the inside of the figure takes up. We're going to start with a triangle that has a base of 5 inches and a height of 2 inches. But we're actually not going to find the area of that triangle to begin with. We're actually going to start with a rectangle that has a base of 5 inches and a height of 2 inches. I know I can find the area of this rectangle by multiplying 5 by 2 so that this rectangle has an area of 10 square inches. I can then take my rectangle and I can cut it on the diagonal. When I cut it on the diagonal, that gives me two triangles. Each of these triangles has a base of 5 and each of these triangles has a height of 2. I also know that each of these triangles represents half the rectangle. So the area of each of these triangles is half of the 10 square inches, or 5 square inches each. We can see that fits with both of our equations. If I use area equals base times height divided by 2, I can multiply 5 times 2 to get 10 square inches, and then divide it by 2 to give me 5 square inches. I can also use area is 1 half times base times height. 1 half times 5 gives me 2 and a half. 2 and a half times 2 gives me 5, so my area would still be 5 square inches. So either equation, base times height divided by 2, or 1 half times base times height, is going to give me the area of a triangle. The relationship between a triangle being half the area of a rectangle with the same dimension is true for any type of triangle. I can always take the extra pieces from my rectangle and rearrange them to make a triangle with the same dimensions as the original. Therefore, each triangle has an area that's half the area of the original rectangle. We're going to find the area of the triangle by using both of our equations, base times height divided by 2 and 1 half times base times height. On my triangle, 3 millimeters is my base, 7 millimeters, which is my height. Remember, height of a triangle is always perpendicular to my base. I can start by multiplying 3 times 7. 3 times 7 gives me 21, and now I need to divide 21 by 2. 21 divided by 2 gives me 10 and a half. I always need to label my answer. Since my triangle is labeled in millimeters, my area needs to be in millimeters, and area is always a two-dimensional measurement. So my area comes out to be 10 and a half square millimeters. I should get the same result using my other equation. I'm going to multiply 1 half times my base of 3, and I'm going to multiply that times my height of 7. We're going to follow order of operations and work from left to right through our multiplication. 1 half times 3 gives me 1 and a half, and now I'm going to follow my rules for multiplying mixed numbers times whole numbers. 1 and a half times 7 also gives me 10 and a half. I still need to label my answer with square millimeters, so both equations give me the result of area being 10 and a half square millimeters. For more information on classifying triangles, click the link here.